Hello boys and girls, welcome to another installment of MR2 Spider for Dummies. This means you. Just kidding, of course. We're looking at a 2ZZ GE engine um, and you're going to notice right away that there's something missing from this engine. It is the AC. There's no AC. AC, the AC compressor has been deleted. One of the questions that often comes up is what length of belt should I use if I delete the AC on my 2ZZ? Because I want to save weight, I don't need the AC, etc. Whatever your reason for deleting the AC, you want to know what size of belt to use. I'm going to answer this question. Not only that, just like the old proverb where I not only give you a fish to eat but show you how to catch fish, I'm going to show you how to measure the length of a belt for any custom application, whether it's relocate the alternator, remove the AC, add a supercharger, whatever customer custom application you have where you don't know the length of the belt that's needed, I'm going to show you how to determine the length of the belt. So how do we do that? We start with an old belt that's been cut. I just cut this belt, okay? And um, I'm going to take this belt and I'm going to route it. Okay, I'm going to route this belt in the approximate position where it goes. Okay. With the AC deleted. So this is the path that you take when you delete the AC, okay? And then to hold the belt in place, have a locking little, little locking plier. Just put it around the overlapping section, lock it in place, and there. You know, this thing is about the right length, except for one thing, there is no tension being applied by the tensioner. So let's account for that. We'll just remove this belt again. Okay, take it off the alternator. Gonna get it to about the right length that it should be. And I'm cheating here a little bit because I've already done this. So I get it to about the right length where I would want it to be. Okay. I lock it at this length again using my little vice grip. Okay, so it's about like how you would want it to go. Then I'm going to take uh, my wrench. Gonna try to keep it in place here. Going to use a little extension pipe for leverage. There we go. Now, going to move the tensioner and just move it. Oops, except for the, the dipstick is in the way. Okay. Right. So now we got the belt with tension applied at the length that we want. Okay? So it's right there. And I've made a mark previously about the correct length so we can remove it. There it's removed. I've made a mark to where, how long this belt should be. Okay, so it's from here to here. I take my tape measure and I measure it. And this length comes out to about 55 and a half inches. So next, I go in the belt catalog 
and I look for a ribbed belt that is 55 and a half inches long and I get this belt okay and this belt if you can see it 6k 557 55.7 inches so let's see if this belt is gonna work for this purpose do the same thing again we route the belt just the way it's supposed to be routed then we're gonna take a wrench get the dipstick out of the way the dipstick always gets in the way let's make sure oh I see and this belt is not in the right position here there we go now it's on release it and it's perfect okay so that's exactly how you go about it and uh, it's always with a belt it's a little bit of a struggle but there you have it you should be able to measure the belt for any application including the AC delete thanks for watching